So you obviously scored your second NWSL goal, your first goal for the Thorns. What did that feel like to come out in the first game and be able to do that? Um, it felt amazing. <laughs> did you see me and McCall were like holding each other and jumping up and down? Um, so I feel like you could physically see my excitement. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not like a big goal scorer. I want to be, obviously. So it was a really good feeling. And obviously for this crowd, it's amazing. Um, to see kind of players like you, Mana, Ali, were the players scoring. Obviously, the national team players contributed too. But to see kind of the group that's going to be here um, stepping up in that first game, how big was that? Yeah, that was awesome. Um, especially, I love we were talking about because we have like this box midfield that we like to we're like super close so we're just like the fact that we could get you know assists and goals and everything like that like we want to continue that for every game of the season and we're all going to be here the entire time for every game so I think it's important that we make sure we get on you know the scoring sheet for goals and assists so usually after a big win the coach often sticks with a similar lineup but this is kind of a weird season you guys have Nadine and Jody have another week of practice you guys might have other national team players coming in uh, how do you kind of deal with the transition of maybe bringing in more people and changing the lineup week to week? I mean, I think it's just getting everyone on the same page. Um, and we have that chemistry, I think, and we all, you know, have the same team philosophy, and that's really important. Um, so if you're not starting or, you know, you might start 10 games in a row and then someone comes in, you're not starting or stuff like that. Like, I think we're all, you know, we want the best for we want the best for this team, and we're playing for each other. So just having a positive attitude and knowing that, like, we got to trust in ourselves and the coach that he's going to put out the lineup for whoever the opponent we're playing. So and just believe in that. And then uh, with the philosophy, um, you, you and Paul, both a lot of people have talked about philosophy. What does that exactly mean? Kind of just having the right philosophy and that making it easier to integrate. Players. I think, I mean, just because it's a team sport and having everyone on board is so important and especially this year having people come in and out, like we have, you know, it's all about the process. Like we know that, I mean, we could win every game, but, you know, there's going to be ups and downs in the season. It's an extra month, you know, seven month season and there's going to be hard times. But if we all at the end of the day know that we're going to the same goal and the same, I don't know, we have the same motivation and dedication and we're putting in the work every day and we're kind of just like trusting this process that things are going to work out if, you know, we all put everything we have into it and obviously even, I don't know, the practice players, the players starting, the players not starting, like we need everyone and that's, I don't know, that's why soccer is so fun I think because it's a team sport. And, uh, one last thing, just having the uh, national team players here at the at the moment, uh, obviously they'll be leaving, but having them be able to be in practice and be in games to start the season, how important is that? It's awesome. I mean, obviously anytime they can come in because we are a team and we need everyone um, is awesome and just integrating them into practice and the lineups and getting them on board with our philosophy like we're talking about and um, obviously they're amazing players so just, you know, picking up that extra level of I don't know, skill and everything and stuff at practice is really good for everyone. So we all benefit from it. Great. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you so much.